Sunan. Aid me. Be my eyes. Together we'll force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall. May I see your stores? Done for now. I have to go. See you soon. Be well, my friend.
I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Red crumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf. 
marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear anything. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon.
coming from that old church. Is someone there? I feel stronger already. Hmm. Scraps and rags left for the rats. Hard as stone, and the stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. If you have a problem with me, show yourself. We await the Lord of Crowland, trespasser. Leave or die. I'm not going anywhere until you cowards show your poxy faces. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! We will fight for this bloody kingdom! Tooth and nail!
Stretch your wings, Sulin. Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? None. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean... That is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulka? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone, not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basil? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Highland sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. Where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. 
King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thain is chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. Before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's Emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll give the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstein. See you, old friend. If Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. Welcome! Until next we meet.
Just like you were born to ride. I hope to see you again soon. I must take my leave. So long. Welcome here. You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. Oh, bugger off here, eh? or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. How about you help me from the goodness of your heart? And then I'll leave you alone. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a Bard drinking at the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Go, Zulin. <laughs> that ale swamped scarp can't have gone far. Stole my trues. La 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 la, Fanny, Fanny, fair art thee. Where are you going, my sweet lady? You there, you alive? <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <laughs> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. wakes me. Who I am is no concern of yours. And I do not care. Did you want something, or did you just wake me to torment me? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might... Help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Do 
over. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The bots... Bots and paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Show me what lies ahead. The King's word, but no if I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. going on Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetmund. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Basil and the abbot in Falkenstern.
must try my ale sometime. You must. My... Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps... Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bathen? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skinned Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? They refrain because he's over here. wary of this abbot peasant. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. <laughs> Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Zunin, guide me. Yeah! <laughs> 
this chase will catch as a plump hen. Oh, damn you! I'll stage your welcome. I hope this chase will catch as a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his way. That leaden wit keeps his word. <laughs> Show me. Oh, you prefer to work in the shadows. A dozen minutes. Say it! No! No! Protect me! You don't say. Be seen in this area. Play on! Oh, the Stop catamalling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protects me! Silence will save you, Tetmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way but only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak 
and when to stay silent, for silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's Priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think. Let, let me think. Oh, Danes. T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rucester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first, I, I am still Tedman to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnir knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rucester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedman. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The nuns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears from leaden, my hands sweat, and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. But, but I will try. Ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I, I hope. <laughs> We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This handbook will get us all killed. 
You murdered our people, men, women, children. Pipe down, you dogs. You're slaves of Kent now. Edmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes. And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. To hell with this talk. Let Saxon blood soak this land. you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rucester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy and will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it. And your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, Meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, uh, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far carry out your duty. Is this the life of a dead one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? But even hide them? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one. 
unbreakable bond. Yes. Children, <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry, fill you with joy, even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry. Basim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. A man you trust with anything. Can take everything. says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare.